Today I am playing Dead Island Survivors. Whatever happened to Dead Island 2? Seems it's been hiding in a dumpster since Dying Light took all the thunder. Although I read it's still in development. We need more not so serious zombie games. So instead let's focus on a mobile version of the zombie annihilation experience. Dead Island Survivors is available on Android and Apple devices. First up, gameplay. A zombie smashing, survivor defending, resource collecting, free to play, semi tower defense, undead adventure. The main goal defend your base and survive. A simple premise with challenging consequences. First up, set up an assortment of zany zombie killing traps, then guide your selected character to abolish the undead scum. Controlling your character is done by taps or holding and moving your finger. While it's a fine control scheme, I found my finger got in the way of all the zombie carnage on screen. Then throw grenades, heal, or call in support. Once a stage is complete, you are in a suitcase full of cards. Because who doesn't travel with random weapon cards? Use these cards cards to upgrade traps, your hero, as well as unlock more deathly machines. The game as a whole is similar to others in this genre, yet the added controllable heroes make for an engaging fun time. Running around and tricking brain dead zombies into traps was rewarding, and running away to avoid certain death was adrenaline pumping. Then on to other islands, save survivors, collect more resources, fight various bloated zombies, and continue on to become a zombie head trophy hunter. It's these later stages that really test your trap placement skills, as well as your reflexes. One wrong plan of attack can turn you into zombie food. Use a mine in the wrong spot and waste it, or throw down support in just the right cluster for optimal killing. It's this aspect that puts some brains into a game about brain dead flesh eaters. Next up, graphics. The undead never look so alive. The graphics are a polygon vacation on a dilapidated sunny island. I wasn't expecting much from a base defense game, yet my expectations were blown into bits of eyeball pleasing goodness. The colors are vibrant and fun. The character models are simple yet great. I really like the designs that went into the different traps. They all have a look of creation to them. Like these survivors are somehow engineers and are able to craft zany killing machines. From what I've seen about Dead Island 2, these graphics are doing their best to resemble that theme. It's a nice look for a mobile game and overall gives it a fun feel. I did notice some optimization issues, whether it be input lag or some frame rate stuttering. However, the more I played, the less this was an issue. In the end, it's eyeball splattering goodness. Finally, free playability. Get ready to bury your wallet because the dead are coming for it. The game relies on traditional in-app offerings and the resource collecting just adds to this mechanic. Let's break it down. What is used to craft traps? Gain that through loot missions. Then money is used to upgrade cards, your hero, or abilities. That's okay, yet money does get scarce as you progress. Then there are the gems, the main source of cash hungry zombies. This can be used to speed upgrading traps or to call in support characters instead of waiting for them to replenish. Now for the suitcase loot system. You know, the same system that has you waiting to unlock and running out of space for more. You can also use gems on these as well. And don't forget the construction worker used to boost traps. You only get one, or you can spend gems for more. I am not saying this system is horrible, it's the same mechanics I've seen hundreds of times. I would just like to have seen more innovation in this department. And the reality is, it sort of hampers the gameplay experience. Now that I've wiped blood off my weapon, is this game a download it, a give it a try, or a waste of space? Dead Island Survivors traps, cuts, and explodes its way in as a plus give it a try. Dead Island, surviving until Dead Island 2. The gameplay is strategic zombarific fun, the graphics are alive with death, and the free playability is a tricky trap. I am sure not everyone will enjoy this game as much as I did. The gameplay is similar to other games of this type, yet the inclusion of zombie killing on a deadly island creates an experience that is both fun and rewarding. The difficult deaths made me rethink my strategy, and the head smashing graphics gave me the need to come back for more. It's the monetization that brings me back to reality as I realize winning means losing suitcases. Either way, I still enjoyed my time on a deserted paradise with my zombified friends. So if you like tower defense, minus the tower, the thrill for a successful kill, or just want to destroy zombie self-esteem, then go ahead and give this one a try. Or if you need your dead island fix without the first person destruction and don't mind using your brain in the process, then go ahead and give dead island survivors a play. As always, thanks for watching Tiny Little Games. Please subscribe to support my channel, like for more impressions, and ring that notification bell for video updates. Fun fact, my very first zombie game was a PS1 game called Overblood. 
Look it up. It's a real thing. Isn't that crazy?